PC delivers the best when it comes to professional quality cables with their Ega sleeve. Perfect for any enthusiast build. Click now to learn more. Hey, so what's up guys? It's Brennan's PC Tech here. And uh, if any of you guys follow me on Instagram, you know last night I recorded a video and it was just had terrible sound. It, just, it wasn't even worth uploading. So I mean, kind of had to redo it here for you guys. I want my first return back to YouTube to be some shitty quality shit. So anyway, just got the EVGA Torque X mouse the other day. It's Torque X10, actually. I love this mouse. I mean, honestly, I have a Corsair Saber right over here. It's it's better than that. It's The customizations on this are just amazing. The EVGA software is way easier to use than Corsair, but you, I mean, you have to get used to both of them. My first impression of the mouse was, wait, it's RGB, but there's red buttons on the side. Why don't you give us customization, but you have big red buttons on the side? I mean... I don't know, I didn't really like that to start out with, but then I started to notice some of the other cool features, like the profile changing button on the bottom of the mouse, so you don't accidentally change like from 8000 dpi to 200. Be a big difference there and could really kill your game if you're in the middle, let's say Battlefield. A con of this, if you have a sniper profile, you won't be able to change it on the fly as easy. I haven't messed around with this, but you may be able to change something like that on one of these four macro keys they have on the sides. There's the scroll wheel. I don't really know what this middle button does yet. I mean, I have to work with this some more. This is just like, after two days of using it, my review. Um, kind of the side pads you can put on there for your, um, for your thumbs. Has replacement pads for the bottom. It's just, you can adjust the back, it's an amazing mouse, you can adjust the height, there's three different weight settings, or no weight, that make a really big difference. It has a braided cable. The RGB lighting I was a little bit disappointed with, let's get back to that. There was, I could only figure out how to do a few colors. I couldn't figure out like the 16.8 million, I couldn't find a color wheel. So, I don't know what's up with that, I don't know if it's there, or if it's not. But I'm just letting you guys know I couldn't find it and I don't know how to change it. Good news for me, they had the shade of blue I liked. So, everything here, it works out. So, I mean, that's mostly it. I would highly recommend this mouse. I'm going to put the link in the video description for it. I think I got this for 49 bucks. It was worth every penny of it. So, if you guys like the video, I'm going to be having the, uh, what's the brand, Rosewill. RGB 80 keyboard review coming in like next week. We can try to do that. Maybe a setup tour. Comment what you guys want. Just like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you. Guys.